Bigger definitely appears to be better in China. No more is this evident than in China's ever-growing megacities. In fact, some of these cities are home to more people than some countries have, and they only look set to get bigger. A megacity is defined as a metropolitan area with a population of more than 10 million. China is home to 15 cities with populations larger than 10 million, more than any other country in the world, and there are even more on the way. In fact, China is on a mission to build another of the world's biggest cities by merging nine large cities into one giant megalopolis. The area known as Pearl River Delta is China's primary industrial region. By 2030, through combining cities, including Shenzhen and Guangzhou, the new megacity could have a population of 80 million and an economy worth $2 trillion. In this video, you'll learn why China keeps building megacities with populations bigger than entire countries. Make sure you watch until the end, we've saved the most interesting thing about this mega project for the end of the video. Bigger still will be the enormous Jingjingji. For all those who don't know, Jingjingji is the national capital region of the People's Republic of China. It is the biggest urbanist megalopolis region in North China, including an economic region surrounding the municipalities of Beijing and Tianjin and along the coast of the Bohai Sea. This emerging region is rising as a northern metropolitan region rivaling the Pearl River Delta in the south and the Yangtze River Delta in the east. In 2020, Jingjingji had a total population of 110 million people, comparable to that of countries like the Philippines. If all goes according to plan, this new giant megacity will be home to no fewer than 130 million people. Located on the northeast coast of China, Jingjingji will combine the three existing cities of Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei in what will become China's main economic zone. The government has already announced that it will invest $36 billion to build 700 miles of rail as part of a transportation system serving the megalopolis. The goal is to introduce a one-hour commuting circle across the area. In 2021, Jingjingji produced around 8%, the equivalent of $1.5 trillion of China's GDP or equivalent to the GDP of a European country like Spain. It occupied an area about the size of Great Britain. Jingjingji had traditionally been involved in heavy industries and manufacturing. Tianjin's strengths have always been in aviation, logistics, and shipping. Beijing complements this economic activity with strong petrochemical, education, and R&D industries. The area is becoming a significant growth cluster for automobile, electronics, petrochemical sectors, automotive industry, software and aircraft, thus attracting foreign investments in manufacturing and health services. The Chinese central government has made it a priority to integrate all the cities in the Bohai Bay Rim and foster economic development. This includes building an advanced communications network, better highways, increased education, and scientific resources, as well as tapping natural resources off the Bohai Rim. In 2016, the central government approved a $36 billion plan to link the various cities making up this metropolis by rail in order to reduce commute times and to better integrate them. This plan includes the construction of nine railways that are 1,100 kilometers in length, which are set to be completed by 2020. Like I said before, the long-term goal is to create a one-hour commuting region, an additional 24 intercity railways are planned to be built before 2050. In recent decades, petroleum and natural gas deposits have also been discovered in the Jingjingji region's coast of the Bohai Sea which will most likely make the area more important on the world stage. We still have a lot of information to share with you about China's ambitious megacities and how they have completely changed the way the world thinks about engineering and economics. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more content. The scale of these projects is enormous. The building of megacities is one of the key ways that China hopes to boost its economy. Indeed, China is a country on the move and so are many of its people, quite literally. As part of a national new type urbanization plan unveiled in 2014, China aims to move 250 million of its citizens from the country's rural areas into cities by 2026. China views urbanization as the key to bringing the world's economy to its doorstep. By moving people who have traditionally worked as farmers in more rural regions into its new megacities, China hopes that it can utilize its workforce and strengthen its economy. A lot of work is to be done, however, as China's goal is to move 100 million citizens into these new megacities by 2020. 
It doesn't happen overnight, developing the infrastructure to support such large populations takes time and significant investment. Currently, Shanghai is China's most populous city. With a population of 24 million, it's currently ranked third in the world and sits just behind Delhi in India and Tokyo in Japan. Other supersized cities in China include Guangzhou, with a population of 14 million, almost double that of London, it's often dubbed the world's factory as it's here where most of the products that carry the ubiquitous Made in China sticker are produced. However, megacities bring their own set of problems that are no stranger to making the headlines. Many of China's existing big cities are plagued by high levels of pollution, haze and smog, as well as overcrowding, traffic gridlock, water and waste management problems. However, by introducing new megacities by the year 2020, the country hopes that it will ease the strain on cities such as Beijing and Shanghai, where people traditionally flock to live, and provide neighboring areas with equally good public services and facilities to help reduce the congestion and remedy the problems. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Cheers!